For our first episode, we have the tea, where we ask our guests to spill the tea. Do we have a doozy for you tonight? First up, we have the ones, the only, Angina and Joan. They are my aunts, and they are here to spill the tea about each other as twins. We are super excited to have them as our first guest tonight. Welcome! You're going to answer questions about each other. So, the first question I'm going to ask to Aunt Jean, and it's going to be about Aunt Joan. Better be nice. <laughs> <laughs> what was the most rebellious thing Aunt Joan did in high school? They called me to the principal's office, and I forgot what Joan did. But they were blaming me, and Joan just said it wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> Did they tell you what it was? I forgot what it was. But... Okay. <laughs> I don't know what I did. <laughs> if I were a twin, I would totally do something and just blame it on the other twin. Like, yeah. yeah. That'd be an easy get out of jail yeah. free card. But you pay Wonderful. for it later. <laughs> 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 Wonderful. Now this question is for Aunt Joan about Aunt Jean. Did you ever switch places with Aunt Jean and pretend to be her? I don't think so. If I got blamed for something, then Jean got blamed for it also. We were treated like one person. We dressed a lot. It was Jean finally when we got to be about the fifth grade. And so we start dressing differently. And that's why, too, I keep a sweatshirt in the back as Jean picks me up. And she's more particular than I am. We both got a white shirt, but it's different. Right. I have to change it, so I have the sweatshirt <laughs> in the back. It is always you who changes that. Oh, that's yeah. true. <laughs> now the last question is for both of you. What is your favorite and least favorite thing about being a twin? Yeah, the least favorite is that people look at you as one and not as two individuals. Right. Favorite one is sometimes I will I will say something and she'll say, Oh my gosh, I was thinking about that too. Twin telepathy is it's real. Yes. 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 Thank you for joining us. All right. Thank, thank you for you. Round of applause. Thank you. Yes, well thank you for being thank here. Thank you for being here. Thank you. And now for a word from our sponsors. Oh wait, we don't have any. This is just sponsored by Tucker. Now let's keep things moving. Next up on Megan's at Midnight is Abby and Matt. They're my siblings. Did I? Thank you both for being here today. For our first question, Matt, can you tell us an embarrassing story about Megan? Okay, so it was during the Winter Olympics, and well, during the skiing segment. Oh my god. And uh, this I was is just embarrassing. This is just sad. This is. I, I was just annoying Megan and her friends. I was just trying to get in her room. She's like, get away, get away. Well, I was just trying to push open the door and she accidentally slammed my fingers in the door. And fingers. it was completely flat. We had to cut the Olympic celebration short and Matt had to go to the emergency room at his favorite hospital, sponsored by Helen DeVos Children's Hospital. <laughs> Matt's finger was completely flat, but he didn't end up actually having any bones broken. So he recovered fine and it's normal now. <laughs> Okay now. That you your didn't finger... need to bring that up. <laughs> Thank you. Matt, I'm glad that your finger came back to life. That was an amazing story. I it's really appreciate that. Amazing. So this next question is for Abby. Abby's a prankster. She what do you believe is your best prank to date and why? I mean, I do like to prank Megan a lot, and I ordered a bunch of free turf samples to show up <laughs> in her name to our apartment. So every few days for like a few weeks, she would get a box with like five or six samples of artificial turf. And then when she had gotten them all, I took the turf and like laid it out in the front entrance so people had to walk over turf to get into our apartment. And she knows that if she tries to get rid of it, I'm just going to order more in her name. So she hasn't even bothered, which is pretty great. <laughs> and she doesn't prank Abby back. Yeah, and that's the best it. part. <laughs> because I don't want to start a war, for one thing. But also, she didn't mention that one of the turf companies called me personally to ask if I liked my turf sample. That was one of the weirdest conversations I've ever had to have. Alright, and this last question is for both of them, I believe. Megan? What's it like being related to me? <laughs> this is going to be a very You're long fired. <laughs> I know, you never hired me. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to pay for this. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's uh, it's okay, but honestly. <laughs> wow. Wow, the truth comes out. I didn't even have to pay him for Thanks that. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> and that is the 
tea. That's no, the tea. Okay. Megan is good. Good. She's <laughs> not even gonna give me a break. I'm just gonna. I'm oh, wow. Actually, honestly, um, she's my favorite sister. I'm um, her only sister. <laughs> She also happens to be my least favorite. Either way you cut it, she's I'll take my favorite. It. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty cool. I mean, it, if you happen to be your sister. In your own. No, but actually, I'm your a... favorite brother, right? Yeah, you are my favorite brother. What about you, Megan? Right? Right. <laughs> right? You're okay. <laughs> this actually ended up on a very sweet note. Yeah. Thank you for being Thanks here. Thanks for joining today. us, guys. Welcome to Sherry's weather report for the week. Starting to late tomorrow morning, uh, we're expecting rain most of the day, turning into really windy. The rest of the week is supposed to be in the upper 40s and sunny. From Adventures with Abby and Megan, live from Norton Shores, Michigan. This is Afternoon Interviews with M. Today she asks our guests some hard-hitting questions about our time living together for a weekend. Hi, I was just wondering about your thoughts and feelings about being compared to Hoda and Jenna. They are professional journalists, so I don't feel great. <laughs> I'm a little underprepared. <laughs> what are your thoughts and feelings about starting our own a talk show like Megan's at Midnight, but it's Abby and Emily? I think it'd be a lot more entertaining and not as extra. Abby! All right, imagine this. You're sitting here, the fire is going, you're roasting your mini weenies. How does that make you feel? The sun so, sets over there, there's a gazeeb. This would literally be my dream life. There is a pool, room for mini weenies, a gazebo, and the water. Wow. Oh, yeah. It's a dream come true. <laughs> Erosion. Our next guest star on Megan's at Midnight is my sister M. She's 23 years old, has um, colored hair, and is dressed like a giraffe tonight. Please welcome M. Welcome to the show. Thank you for being here tonight. We specifically want to ask you about Tucker, who wasn't able to be here tonight. Could you tell us a little a bit about Tucker and why you decided to adopt him? Well, Tucker was a real, he's a real good boy. If you're watching this, Tucker, you're a very good boy. I love you, Tuck. Shout out to Tucker, who's our sponsor for this episode. <laughs> Thanks, man. Can you give us some Tuck dates? He has a girlfriend at work right now. Her name is Coco. She's Bernie's mountain dog. Coco, if you're watching this, you're a very good girl. What Tucker, kind of breed is Tucker? Tuck, uh, Tucker is a Karen Terrier, Norfolk Terrier, Jack Russell Terrier. Mix. Answer all the photos. Okay, great. Now to wrap up this segment. What is the most embarrassing thing Megan has done? Well, let me tell you. Okay. <laughs> so, so, one time we were at Lucari's. Our waiter, he brings us our appetizers. Bruschetta or something? Mm -hmm. And yeah, we didn't order this. Megan knew that we didn't order this. And she, she just starts eating it, and then <laughs> the guy looks really confused. He's like, I don't know why they have this. And he comes back over, and he's like, wait a minute. And then we're like, oh, yeah, we didn't get this. They took it, <laughs> and they gave it to the people who actually ordered it after she took a bite out of it. <laughs> 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 and then I didn't tell them because it was just so awkward. <laughs> really just, embarrassing for her. I just let them eat it. And it was one of the regrets in my life. <laughs> the waiter did not realize that I hate them. They're just life. all these little like remember. bruschettas and then there's they're just a little short one. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for being here thank and very me so tonight. much for being oh, here. Oh no problem. Anytime. <laughs> worth it. <laughs> worth it. And now we're going to be joined by our favorite bowler, our meteorologist, <laughs> and etc. Share Bear! Thank you for joining us. Sure. Our first question is what was the easiest and most difficult part of being a mother to Megan? It's been all easy parts so far. Mm. What a lie. No, <laughs> really? No, it hasn't been any problem at all. Oh my gosh, what a savvy uh, answer. Uh, you know, life. this show is called The Tea. Mom, you gotta give us the that tea. That was watered down so. tea. Okay, how about I ask it in a different way? What's yeah. the most annoying thing What's that I do? What's the most annoying thing? Well, don't be shy. Yeah, you know, <laughs> it could be anything that was been annoying that bad to me yet. Oh, that's such a lie. Oh, okay, what's the hardest part of raising M? Yes. Just that she likes to color her hair, all these uh, blue. You heard it here, folks. <laughs> yeah. yeah, these bright colors and all, but no. What is your favorite color that mm -hmm. she's dyed it? 
The red is fine so far. You didn't like the purple? No, I liked it, but it wasn't the color purple that I like. <laughs> I see, so she's a disappointment. So a different okay. shade of purple. This is so insightful. So basically the two blessings in my life. Oh gosh. Aww. The tea is not boiling here. <laughs> this is room temperature tea. So our last question is M. What is the most difficult and the best part of being a sister to Megan? She's a perfectionist. Mm -hmm. I have vivid memories of her crying as a child because the things that she did was not perfect. Crying? But, yeah, we had this uh, butterfly house and she painted butterflies on it and she cried because it wasn't perfect enough. <laughs> Well, I mean, it still looks terrible. You know, you know where it is? Yourself. It's in our backyard where no one can see it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the best part is, like, you always have someone to fool around with. So I'll just joke around. Wow. With. That's a decent answer. I'm Happy I'm family. Yeah. Thank wow. you both for Thank being here tonight. Thank you for being You're here. You're so welcome. We it appreciate it. It was my it. pleasure. <laughs> and now a word from our other sponsor. Just kidding, we still don't have sponsors. But this is sponsored by Josie. Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, because my mom couldn't answer the question very clearly, I'm going to ask you the same thing. What is the hardest and easiest part of raising a Megan? Don't hold back. The drama <laughs> is the hardest part. Okay. Yeah. Can you expand on that? What I is the that. drama that you're referring to? There are no easy decisions, and even the obvious decisions take a lot of time. And I feel that. <laughs> that in is my very core. true. <laughs> Our casting crew is dying behind <laughs> the camera. <laughs> Else. Mom, what's the hardest part of raising me? <laughs> the perfectionism. <laughs> Seems like we have our casting crew is not <laughs> Seems able like to we have right now. <laughs> <laughs> I think <laughs> I didn't think you guys were actually gonna answer the question. <laughs> 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 it's getting kind of hot. Okay, what is the easiest? What's the easiest? Like, this is probably joy. gonna be like she she needs the joy. I knew you were gonna say that. <laughs> We named her Joy, and she has been the Joy. Never a dull moment with Megan. Now, moving on to the million dollar question. Who is your favorite child? And why? First thing that pops into your head, go. I love all my children equally. Cute what a boo cop out. Yeah. Cute boo noise. No. Boo. Wrong answer. What, a <laughs> what happened to my ping pong balls? <laughs> Char, do you have an answer uh, for that one? First name that pops into your head, go. There's a lot riding on this. It depends on the day. You're fired. That's a good answer. <laughs> That's a good answer. Thank you for joining us. We appreciate your um, We candor. appreciate your presence, and we appreciate your presence, the four people who are watching this. For one of our final activities, we are all doing a craft together. Yay! Whoop de doo. I think I'm the only enthusiastic one. And Jean, you're enthusiastic about the craft, right? Sure. Yeah. She said sure. I'll take it. This is my finished product. Wow. Ooh. Ah. Uh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to our Q&A section where we get to learn more about Megan's. All right, this question is for both of you. What is your favorite animal, starting with Megan L, other than pandas? Well, a gecko. Okay, is there a why to that? Uh, no. All right. I um, like large cats, like tigers or lions. I thought you just meant like a fat cat. <laughs> <laughs> like hope? Yeah, like hope. Just uh, like our cat at you home. don't like skinny cats, <laughs> only fat cats. Yes, exactly. All right, moving on to our next question. How would you murder someone, starting with Megan S? I wouldn't murder anybody. That is so against my nature. <laughs> that is so different from my <laughs> <laughs> Okay, go ahead. 
<laughs> so I would first make sure that the person doesn't know anything about me, so they would never suspect me. Oh, and so it would be cold blood. So yeah. <laughs> wow. And I would do it secretly. <laughs> That's my plan. That's the only thing. I, I don't think she's going to get away with it, That's guys. That's the only thing I could come up with. All right, I'm not very on. sneaky. Murder's bad, don't do it. <laughs> we don't encourage this one much in the show. <laughs> if you were a dragon, what would you breathe except fire? Perfume, because then I could make everything around me smell good. <laughs> wow, that was very fast. <laughs> that was like she's thought about that the answer in the past. <laughs> I was going to say the opposite, ice, to freeze everything over. Mm. Oh, oh, interesting. Yeah. yeah, I like this one. What's it like to be so perfect? all the time. So clearly M wrote this question. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's it's stressful. Mostly because it's a ruse. <laughs> what is your biggest fear? Accidentally breaking the law and then going to prison for the rest of my life. Being attacked by a lot of birds <laughs> in a dark cave that I can't get out of. <laughs> and dying like that too. It's not just being trapped there, it's yeah. Yeah. Who's your favorite sibling? Megan. Megan. <laughs> <laughs> The end. Give us a thumbs up. Give us a comment down to below our first. They're still looking for sponsors. So. Yeah. <sighs> yes. Goodness. Wow. Hello. And you didn't say hey, Pokemon. Oh, okay, oh. fine. You know, I Carly oh. makes this look easy. <laughs> Hello, vlogging world, and welcome this is to Meg. <laughs> Thoughts and opinions on what? Megan's at Midnight? You know, it's a lot more work than I expected it to be. <laughs> and some people are just too picky. That felt like a personal attack on someone. Abby should want this to be good. It's part of wow. her show too. Yeah. You guys are doing confessionals are in front of each other. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, am I taking part of the vlog? Am I vlogging by myself? And what are these hooligans doing? Is that is that a snowball yeah. on the property? That's not allowed. <laughs> Just waiting for uh, Megan to walk out the door. Which one? Doesn't matter. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> there she goes. Look at her go. Oh, load, she coming. He's coming for me. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> She's been trying to admire the pool. <laughs> Have you ever ridden a bike before? Here we go. It's too tall. Go. Guys. We're doing it. <laughs> 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 That's a wrap. Bye. <laughs>